Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel NCRT Math Sub. Today in this video, we will do worksheet number 45 for class 10 subject mathematics. So in this video, we are going to do some examples based on the tangent to a circle from the textbook. So first of all, try to recall and answer. Draw a tangent AB to a circle with center O having point of contact B. So we need to draw a circle with center O and now the point of contact is B. So B is here and now this will be AB. So this is AB that is tangent to a circle with center O. So this is point O. So this will be your answer for the first question. So now a tangent can be parallel to the secant of the circle. This statement is true or false we are to tell. So a tangent can be parallel to a secant of a circle. So the statement is true. Statement kya hogi aapki? True hogi. So the statement is true. So we can say this is true statement. So now the tangent at a point of circle is perpendicular to the radius. So answer is radius. So answer is kya hoga? radius through the point of contact. So keep in mind this is the theorem. Tangent at a point of circle is perpendicular to the radius through point of contact. So now fourth one. The dash of the tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. So the length of tangents. Keep in mind the length. So the length of tangents length of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. So now we have examples number one. You can see on the screen prove that in two concentric circle the code of larger circle when which touches the smaller circle is bisected at the point of contact. Ye hume prove karna hai. So you can see in the solution we have two concentric circles with C1 that is C1 and C2 with center O and code AB of larger circle. So the key code aapka kya hai, jo larger circle ka code hai, kya hai, AB hai. That touches the smaller circle. So that AB kya hai, tangent to a smaller circle. So now AB touches the smaller circle C2 at point P. So you can see here. So now you can see the tangent, ye dekhi aapko theorem apply karni, the tangent at point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through point of contact. We will use this theorem in this concept. So now we need to prove that AP equals to PB. Here we prove karna hai. Aap kaya sakte hai? AP equals to BP. So now in the proof part, AB is tangent to a circle C2 at point P and OP is its radius. And we all know that by using theorem 10.1 that tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius through point of contact. That's why OP will be perpendicular to AB. So AB is code of the circle C1 and OP will be perpendicular to AB. So now OB is bisector of the code AB. O OP kya hoga? Bisector of code AB hoga. As perpendicular from center to the code, bisect the code. That is AP equals to PB. Hence proved. So you can prove this theorem by joining these two relation and by proving this two triangle congruent. So we can say AP will be equals to BP. Aap inko congruent prove kar sakte hain. As you can see, these two are the radii of larger circle and this OP is common to both triangle and this angle is 90 degree in both. So by using RHS rule you can prove that this two triangle will be congruent and by CPCT we will equate AP equals to BP. So this is the result keep in mind. So now perpendicular from center to the code bisect the code and this is the important result keep in mind and this result is from your previous class that is class 9. So now you can see example number 2. Two tangents TP and TQ are drawn to a circle with center O from an external point P. Prove that angle PTQ equals to twice of angle OPQ. So, up dekh sakte hain, hame kya given hai? Head is O and head is T, head is P and head is Q. So, we need to prove that angle PTQ. So, angle PTQ, you can see here, PTQ, this is equals to twice of angle OPQ. And this is O and head is OPQ. This is angle OPQ. So we need to prove this angle is twice of angle this. So in the solution you can see a circle with center O and external point T and two tangents TP and TQ to the circle where P and Q are the points of contact. P and Q are the point of contact. And here it is P and here it is Q. So now to prove we need to prove that this angle is twice of angle this. So now let us assume that PTQ that is angle this one. So this angle is equals to hum theta assume kar lete hain. So now by using theorem, you can see length of tangents drawn from an external point to the circle are of equal measure. So this is theorem 10.2. We will use here. So this is equals to this one. TP equals to TQ. So TPQ is an isosceles triangle. TPQ ke aapki isosceles triangle hai. So now TPQ means this angle and TQP this angle both are equal to half of 180 minus theta. Why this is 
as you know this is isosceles triangle and the opposite angle to the equal side will be equal so this angle is theta so sum of these two angle will be 180 minus theta so these two angle are equal so that value of each angle will be half of 180 minus theta so this will be 90 minus 1 by 2 times of theta so my angle mil jata hai tpq and tqp that is equals to 90 minus half of theta so now by theorem 10.1 you can see angle opt so this is angle opt this complete angle is 90 degree and this angle is how much 90 minus half of theta so now opt equals to kya ho jayega opt minus tpq sorry opq equals to opt minus tpq and that is 90 minus 90 minus half of theta this will be half of theta and half of theta will be equals to half of angle ptq so this is we are to prove so this gives the result ptq equals to twice of angle opq and hence proved so do this example carefully as this is very important for examination point of view so now we have example number three pq is a chord of length 8 cm of circle of radius 5 cm and the tangent at point P and Q intersect at point T. Find the length of TP. So, you can see that PQ is the length of the length of chord, which you can see on the screen. Screen par aapke samne hai. And its length is 8 cm we are given. And the radius is 5 cm. Radius we are given, that is 5 cm. And tangents P and Q intersect at point T. Hey, this is point T. So, now find the length of TP. We need to find this length of this tangent. So, join OT. सबसे पहले आप ज्वाइन कर लीजिए ओटी को दैट इज द लाइन ज्वाइनिंग द एक्सट्रीम पॉइंट टू द सेंटर ऑफ सर्कल सो नाउ लेट इट इंटरसेक्ट पॉइंट पी क्यू एट पॉइंट आर सो हेयर इट इज आर नाउ देन टी पी क्यू आप देख सकते हैं टी पी क्यू इज एन आइसो सेलेस ट्राइंगल वाई दिस सो देखिए टी पी क्यू आप क्या है टी पी क्यू इज एन आइसो सेलेस ट्राइंगल सो टी पी क्यू दिस इज ट्राइंगल यू नो Length of tangents drawn from extreme point to the circle are equal. So TPQ is an isosceles triangle and TQ is the angle bisector. TQ is your angle bisector. Hai. So that angle PTQ. Uh, now OT is perpendicular to PQ. OT is perpendicular to PQ. PQ is perpendicular to PQ. PQ is This is line OP. OT. I am repeating. You can see from the screen. This is OT. And this is PQ. So here it is will be perpendicular. Here what is perpendicular form? Hoga. So and this is also perpendicular bisector. So that half of PQ will be PR. That will be equals to 4 cm. So PR and QR will be equals to 4 cm. So now by using Pythagoras theorem you can find OR. By using Pythagoras theorem in triangle OPR you will find OR equals to 3 cm. How much OR is getting? 3 cm. Mil jata hai. So now you can see angle TPR plus P RPO TPR this one angle and RPO that is this one equals to 90 degree and equals to TPR plus PTR so now we can say RPO equals to PTR and therefore triangle TRP is similar to triangle RPO so we can say triangle TRP is similar to triangle P RO by angle angle similarity here you can see TRP here it is TRP this one triangle and second one is PRO and this is triangle. So these two triangles are similar by angle angle similarity criteria. This two triangle is angle angle similarity criteria. Se, kya ho jati hai? Similar ho jati hai. So that we can ratio equal kar sakte hai. and you can see here TP upon PO equals to RP upon RO. So this will be equals to TP upon PO that we have as 5 that is radius of circle and here RP is 4 and RO is 3. So after simplifying, we will get TP equals to 20 by 3 centimeter. So this is all about example number 3. So now we have three questions for practice. And first one is nothing else. All this theorem that we have discussed in the example 1, 2 and 3. List all the theorems with the statement and criteria applied in the given example 1, 2 and 3. So we have theorem to tell you. 1, 2 or 3 which we have used. That answer you will directly here on the screen. This is theorem 10.1 that we are that we have used in the question number one or example number one the tangent at point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact and now next one that is theorem number two that we have used in example number two the length of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are of equal measure and we have used a similarity criteria in the example number three that is angle angle similarity criteria so these are the theorems and statement that we used in example number one two and three so now we have question number two and three four practice you can see so let's do the solution of question number two so now from a point q the length of tangent to a circle is 24 centimeter and distance of q from the center is 25 centimeter the radius of circle is 
7 cm, 12 cm and 24.5 cm and 15 cm. So you can see in triangle OPQ, we are given the length of tangent as 24 cm and the distance of point Q from the center is 25 cm and if we all know that the radius is perpendicular to tangent at point of contact so that triangle OPQ will be right angle triangle. So now by using Pythagoras theorem that is PZT means Pythagoras theorem. So here OP square plus PQ square will be equals to OQ square as we know that Pythagoras theorem says the sum of square of two smaller side is equals to square of longer side. So that OP square plus PQ that is 24 square will be equals to 25 square. So OP square plus 576 equals to 625 and OP square will be equals to 625 minus 7576. So this will be 49. So OP square equals to 49. So OP will be square root of 49 and that will be the 7. So OP will be 7 centimeters. So radius of circle is 7 centimeters. So option A is right answer. So now proceed for question number 3. Prove that the tangent drawn at the end point of a diameter of a circle are parallel. See in the figure. You can see we have given a figure in which AOB is diameter and TS and PQ are the tangent to a circle. And you can see we have given tangent TS and PQ at the ends of the diameter AB and TAO that is this angle and OBQ this angle we are given 90 degree. So we need to prove that TS is parallel to PQ. We prove karna hai, tangent TS is parallel to PQ so that we can say we have given that is TAO equals to OBQ equals to 90 degree but TAO and OBQ forms pair of alternate interior angles. See what we Pair of alternate interior angles. So that's why we can say that if we have pair of alternate interior angles equal, we can say that lines are parallel. Hai. And if the lines are parallel, then the pair of alternate interior angles are equal. So keep in mind, here the angles are equal so that we can say these two lines or we can say these two tangents are parallel to each other. So that TS is parallel to PQ. So and this is all about worksheet number 45. So if you learn from this video, then please do subscribe my channel and share this video as much as you can. Thanks for watching.